Good, good, good. Alrighty. I'm gonna go through this for a bit because I promise. Well, I said it uh, last stream that I would have at least summarize it, go over with it, and go along with sustainable transport. However, in light of what's going around with the world, I figured I want to talk about uh, short selling just because I have something to actually talk about relating to what's going on you know educate myself educate to anybody who will listen but anywho let me quickly summarize this effects of of the car and societies pretty much with the contents history access convenience economic changes traffic cultural changes safety traffic collisions crime external and internal costs and car free st streets besides resources which brace references there's a lot of them car free streets san francisco and uh, i think sao paulo or some some other city talks about making streets like that along with changing up landscape but yeah mainly the effects of cars would be dependence of of people changing the environment increase in lifestyle changes like traffic all this can be summed up in cultural changes itself but you know traffic collisions crime and stuff it's the fatalities that's the harsh harshness of how cars have impacted the rest of society and stuff besides that the benefit is access and convenience but it wasn't always the case since you had to create infrastructure and Car infrastructure is a big reason why cars and societies is, has some um, controversies. But besides that, that's a short summary out of this. Now, on to short selling. After all, that is something that is being talked about so much, yet people don't know about it. Not even me. So I figured we go to Investopedia to learn more about it. The pretty good website to actually learn about things and stuff. All this and more. But anyway, let's go to this page. And I also have other resources just in case. Besides that, let's go with Short Selling by James Chen. Reviewed by Gordon and Scott. This one's updated January 28, 2021, so yesterday. <sighs> yesterday, yeah. I figured with what happened yesterday. With what was it? Yeah. News about Robin Hood and all of that controversy really, really sparked up. <laughs> but that means that it is. A page that is updated pretty recently therefore it would even talk about something that's been going on especially more info that's important because I figured a lot a lot of people have been sh showing what is sh short selling in the websites videos and eh, posts and stuff from was it reddit to Twitter yeah we got an article itself which yeah I talk about that later but anywho let's learn about short selling what is short selling short selling is an investment or trading strategy that speculates on the decline in a stock or other securities prices oh, price it is an advanced strategy that should only be undertaken by experienced traders and investors <laughs> well it does say experience so, somebody actually has any experience with trading is 
an experienced person. Traders may use short selling as speculation, and investors or portfolio managers may use it as a hedge against the downside risk of a long position in the same security or related one. I go back to the hyperlinks after I finish this paragraph. Speculation carries the possibility of substantial risk and is advanced trading method. Hedging is a more common transaction involving placing an offsetting position to reduce risk exposure. Let's go with speculation. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it gives me the entire page. Now, anywho, how about this? Let me actually have it all list here. So, first talks about hedge, then speculation, and then downside risk definition. So, that's interesting. I figure we have to also understand about other key terms in trading in order to understand more thoroughly what short selling is i'm going to scroll down to see if in there's a lot of hyperlinks Let's see if we have to look in a bunch of them before well that's what phil confrell just reading this and understand everything and especially me do, 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 do. There's a lot here, however, I usually just talk about certain things. Okay, CNBC. EO briefly rivals Exxon for biggest market cap. Now, this is 2008, though. But this is just an article that is helpful for understanding Volkswagen briefly became the most valued bull puppy trade company. But just because of a short squeeze. This is October 20, 2008, showing what occurred during around the housing bubble, well, the Great Recession 2008. Hmm. Well, anywho, I figured looking at the time, we just briefly go over each uh, hyperlink vocab term to understand a bit. Okay, so traders may use short selling as speculation. Let's go to speculation. Speculation, what is speculation? In the world of finance, speculation or speculative trading refers to the act of conducting a financial transaction that has substantial risk of losing value, but also holds the expectation of a significant gain or other major value. With speculation, the risk of loss is more than offset by the possibility of substantial gain or other recompense now let me skim over this to see if there's any important info to the list not examples or tire grass but just see anything related to it yeah it was not a video explaining it just, but yeah bomb game related terms okay that's pretty much it so pretty much wait let me read key terms I like this key term. Let me let me tell you guys this so you could take it away. Key takeaways. Get it? Uh, speculation refers to the act of conducting a financial transaction that has substantial risk of losing value, but also holds the expectation of a significant gain. Yep, something to consider. Now, on to hedge. Investors or portfolio managers may use it as a hedge against the downside risk. Okay, so we got to know what hedge means. What is a hedge? A hedge is an investment that is made with the intention of reducing the risk of adverse price movements in an asset. Normally, a hedge consists of taking an offsetting or opposite position in a related security. Alrighty. I got to feel. Do, 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 do. Yeah, gotcha. Examples. No. 
Okay, uh, let's go to... Yeah, I understand the risk, but I figured... I'll talk more about that in my opinion. Because I just need to talk about the definitions related to it. Okay, let me read thoroughly the key takeaways. Okay, so, I, so the second bullet would explain why people do the hedge. Popular hedging techniques involve taking offsetting positions in deviribrates that correspond to an existing position. It's going against the curve in order to upset it. So the way I think about it, because this is what I've been told, is that that people will create a hedge as in a entire investment in order to steer away something in order for them to receive oh that's that's interesting my entire desktop just flash so, um do the hedge in order to actually grab something that will be later in a cur in a later position maybe like let's say like pull out or invest some more so if a company is uh, is doing pretty um, pretty bad some people can create a hedge uh, uh, to actually bring it back up vice versa uh, because what is it really Stocks goes with how much trust a person is willing to put money into a company for business and profit, even if in, there's other external factors. You know, that's that's the great thing about the free market. So yeah, that's pretty much a hedge. Now let's go to downside because we're right here. Do, 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 do may use it as a hedge against the downside risk of a long position in the same security or related one. So, yeah. Short, short selling is creating a hedge for a downside risk. Now, here's what a downside risk is. What is a downside risk? Downside risk is an estimation of security's potential to suffer a decline in value if the market conditions change or the amount of losses... Oh, amount of loss that could be sustained as a result of the decline depending on the measure used downside risk explains a worst case scenario for an investment or indicates how much the investor stands to lose do 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 do, do. okay yeah <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, I see equations. I remember this. Ugh, it's bringing back memories. Okay, back to key takeaways. Okay, Doki. Let me actually talk about these two. First, bullet. Keys. Downside risk is a general term for the risk of a loss in particular, as opposed to the symmetrical likelihood of a loss gain. Some, but some investments have a finite amount of downside risk, while some have limited downside risk. Which shows when it comes to a graph that's going on uh, downside, there's being a risk. The line being downside my my the amateur way of me explaining it but yeah you're creating a hedge in order for a downside risk go whenever something's going um, one particular way so let's 
Let's see here. Downside risk is that this may seem for the security's potential to suffer a decline in value. The market conditions change. Okay. Is an estimation of a security's potential to suffer a decline in value. Depending on the measure used, downside risk explains the worst case scenario for an investment or indicates how much the investor stands to lose. A worst case scenario where a downside, oh, we're on wiki. A down, um, of a security measure that apparently when it comes to business, uh, it's a fail safe. That's the way I can explain it, but man, I need to... I'll probably just move on because I didn't hear him so much. But yeah, speculation, hedge, and downside risk. Do, 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 do. So, in short selling, a position is opened by borrowing shares of a stock or other asset that the investor believes will decrease in value by a set future date, the expiration date. The investor then sells these borrowed shares to buyers willing to pay the market price before the bower, bow, borrowed I keep on saying bowered shares must be returned the trader is betting that the price will continue to decline and they can purchase them at a lower cost the risk of loss on a short sale is theoretically unlimited since the price of any asset can climb to infinity yeah, talking about when it can occur with the risk of loss. A position is opened by borrowing shares of a stock or other asset that the investor believes will decrease in value. So yeah, having a belief to set investment in in money in the investment something in particular in order to seek a reward. A risky reward but by the expiration date so it being having a, a particular time the trader is betting that the price will continue to decline and they can purchase them at a lower cost so the belief is that is to actually drop try to drive hoping to drive with their investments a particular spiral to go downwards in order for them to purchase it in high in order to actually have the investment become more in value so they can take it out and receive more money than what they initially bought they initially invest now let's go with the key takeaways short selling ooh, short selling occurs when an investor borrows a security and sells it on the open market, planning to buy it back later for less money. Then you have two short sellers bet on and profit from a drop in a security's price. This uh, this can be conscious concentrated con should be concentrated. I say concentrated. Hmm. Let me actually wait till my glasses actually stop fogging up. Alright. Short sellers bet on and profit from a drop in securities price. Okay. This can be contrasted with long investors who want the price to go up. So, it does show the difference between short sellers and long sellers and what they want to see in profits where short sellers want something immediate so there's actually no let me go to the term way long sellers long sellers like to um have the stock price to fluctuate very slowly in a reasonable speed either up or down because overall it will the investment will continue to grow up even if uh, there will be 
times where it does go down, meaning that it will be a slow process. But, you know, long investors know that, and yet they still invest. It's a sure security way to do that. Whereas a short-term investor is using risky tactics like short selling in order to actually see immediate profits by using one tactic like hedging um, in order to actually get a price that's pretty low for them to invest and then take out when it's high and repeat that cycle where day traders will use like doing that because they usually would daily buy and then sell certain stocks so that's the main takeaway now third will be short selling has a high risk slash reward ratio it can be it can offer big profits but losses can mount quickly and infinitely due to margin calls so the margin calls can refer to i don't quite under I don't remember what it is, but margin calls would refer to times where the price is not uh, is not what you choose to get due to a delay, due to other things related, where a stock suddenly goes way up low, then goes up, and then you invest, then you bought it for a very high price versus the low price. I mean, that's the reason why Robin Hood was sort of got in trouble a while back for uh, having delay in their stock trading system where people couldn't see accurate prices once it starts moving. Just a few seconds can mean a big, big risk because it's about timing. You know, that's the thing about that. Let me also go to the first one to see if I understand this takeaway. Short selling occurs when an investor borrows a security and sells it in the open market, planning to buy it later for less money. Yeah, seeking to buy it for less money and take it with high profits. Now, let's go for... Let's go damn more here. Understanding short selling. Okay, is this enough? Yeah, I'll probably read through it because I probably don't have to explain more about it. Just brief history, especially with the time right now. Understanding short selling. Wimpy of the famous Popeye comic strip would have been a perfect short seller. The comic character was famous for saying he would, quote, Gladly pay next Tuesday for a hamburger today. Quote, end quote. Sh in short selling, the seller opens a position by borrowing shares. Usually from a broker, dealer, the short seller will try to make money. Okay, yeah, I don't need to click that. Let me just briefly talk about broke dealer. On the use of one of those shares before they must return them to the lender. So what's, so what's broke dealer? A broke dealer, BD is a person or firm in the business of buying and selling securities for its own account or on behalf of its customers. The term broke bro dealer is used in the U.S. securities regulation. Freelance who describes stock brokerages because of most of them act as both agents and principals. Could be an agent, could be a principal, could be a dealer. Let's go with securities just to briefly talk about what it is because I keep on saying that. The term security refers to the Fungibility, negotiability, financial instrument that holds some type of monetary value. Okay, what is fungibility? Fungibility is the ability of a good or asset to be interchanged with other individual goods or assets of the same type. Fungibility assets, whoa! As you can see, there's a lot of terms and jargons that is pretty hard for the simple average Joe to understand. But, on this side, it can actually help me understand more about it i mean i am learning a lot right now in this past time to open a short position a trader must have a margin account and will usually have to pay interest on the value of the borrowed shares while the position is open 
also the Financial Institutional Regulatory Authority, FINRA, yeah, I'm not going to look through it, yeah. which enforces the rules and regulation governing restrict registered brokers and broker dealer firms in the United States, the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE, and the Federal Reserve have set minimum values for the amount that the margin account must maintain, known as the maintenance margin. If the investor's account values fall below the maintenance margin, more funds are required or the position must be sold by a broker. Let's briefly go over uh, maintenance margin. What is maintenance margin? Maintenance margin is the minimum equity an investor must hold in the margin account after the purchase has been made. It's currently set at 25% of the total value of the securities in the margin account as per financial district regulatory authority FINRA requirements. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things about it. It doesn't even have a higher limit for liquidity. I actually don't know what's the entire definition for it. Sure. To close a short position, a trader buys the shares back on the market, hopefully it's priced less than what they borrow the asset and returns them to the lender or broker. Traders must account for any interest charged by the broker or commissions char charged on trades. Okay. The process of locating shares that can be borrowed and returning them as the end of the trade is handled behind the scenes by the broker. Opening and closing the tr trade can be made through the regular trading platforms with most brokers. However, each broker will have qualifications. The trading account must meet before they allow margin trading. Gotcha. As mentioned earlier, one of the main reasons to engage in short selling is to speculate. Conventional long strategy stocks are bought, can be classified as investment or speculation depending on two parameters: A, the degree of risk undertaken in the trade, and B, the time horizon of the trade. The time horizon? Let's, let's, let's talk about the time when you bought it. Oh well. Investing tends to be a lower risk and generally has a long-term time horizon that spans years or decades. Speculation is a substantial higher risk activity that typically has a short-term time horizon. Horizon. Okay, I actually understand a little bit more about this. Now let me see if I can read more about that. Okay. Let me quickly read this. Oh boy. Okay. Short selling for a profit. Imagine a trader who believes that the XYZ stock currently trading at $50 will decline in price in the next three months. They borrow 100 shares and sell them to another investor. The trader is not short, short 100 shares since they sold something that did not, did not own but had borrowed the short sell was only made possible by borrowing the shares which may not always be available if the stock is already heavily snor shorted by other traders a week later the company whose shares were short reports the dismissal financial results for the quarter and the stock falls to forty dollars the trade decides to close the short position and buys 100 shares for $40 on the open market to replace the borrowed shares. The trader's profit in the short sell, excluding commissions and interest on the margin account is $1,050 minus 40 e equals $10 times 100 shares equals 1,000. Well, I want to write it down to actually explain it, but now we don't still have much time. I'm here just to give a short crash course somewhat of of what what all this is about because jesus there's a lot of things about that well anywho it looks like there we got to with the very specific thing about short selling which is something a lot of people feel uncomfortable with so i just skim through it and just look through what is more important because i believe it's that Things like these, this graph that I learned is very important to learn, along with other things that's going going on in the news, just to know a general sense of what short selling is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh yeah, I may actually read this first. As a simple example, if 50% of the portfolio that has a close correlation with the S&P 500 index, S&P 500 is hedged and index moves up 50% over the next 12 months, the portfolio would only record approximately half of the gain or 7.5 percent i just want to state that out because it does show that even mutual funds for stocks that are being shorted is definitely affected if you actually examine any mutual funds and stocks recently and we'll see how this goes next uh weekday but anywho i'll continue with this besides that so long